Hi friends, my name is Ankur Jain and welcome back to Tax Other Channel. Today, in this video, we are going to look at, we are going to focus on a very important aspect, which is extending our SaaS application in our Visual Builder. So this is the most often requirement wherein users or the organization is looking how we can extend our SaaS application with the help of Visual Builder. So in this video, we are going to see how we can extend our SaaS application. So before we start, I will ask you to please subscribe my channel so that you can get a latest video directly in your notification list as soon as I publish a new video. So let's get started. So extending any SaaS application with VBCS is most often requirement in today's world. So I'll consider that in an organization, there are a lot of SaaS application up and running and which is a, which is user facing application. So the, and user has to log in into different different application in order to see different different sets of data and sometimes user irritates when one of the SaaS application does not respond on time. So here in that case, what we can do, we can create a single page in a VBCS which can pull and push data from different different SaaS application and user can interact from a single page. By extending any SaaS application, we are doing a seamless integration between different SaaS application and the VBCS. User don't require to switch between application. As I mentioned that if there are a lot of applications up and running and user require all these application to see different different sets of data, then in that case, if we can create extension of all these applications in the VBCS, the user don't require to switch between application in order to see a data set. So here in this example, we are going to consider the SFDC as an application which we are going to extend in the VBCS. So here in this video, we are going to look at the opportunity extension in the VBCS, wherein we, the user, the user who will log in into the VBCS application will be able to see all the opportunities lying under him. And from the same page, if user are user is willing to update some opportunity information, they don't need to log in back to the Salesforce application. They can update the opportunities from the same page as well. Once the user will update the opportunity, the updated data will be sent back to the SFDC in a real time. Once a user logs in into the SFDC, they will be able to see the updated data in the SFDC as well on the VPCS page also. So here, this is the architecture which we are going to follow. Here, our user will log in into the VBCS application. Once our user logs in into the VBCS application, VBCS will interact with the Salesforce application in order to pull all the opportunities lying under this user. User will be able to see all the opportunities. If user is willing to update the opportunity, user can update the opportunity from the same page, which will be pushed back to the Salesforce application in a real-time manner. So here in this video, we are going to create a connected app in a Salesforce application, which means when we will create a connected app, it will give me the client ID and client secret. And this client ID, client secret will be used in a REST API of a Salesforce so that we can interact with the Salesforce application. So then we are going to create a VBCS application. Then we have to create a service connection with the SFDC REST API so that the communication can happen. Then we will create a page to list all the opportunity and then up update opportunity from the same page. So there are some prerequisites in order to create, in order to complete this lab. We would be requiring a SFDC instance. We would be requiring the SFDC client ID and a client secret in order to call SFDC REST API. Then we would be requiring a VBCS instance where we can extend the SFDC application. So here, let's move forward and log in into the Salesforce instance first so that we can register a client app. So I just logged in into this SFDC application and then this setup quick find, I will search the app manager. From this app manager page, we are going to click on a new connected app which will open a new page from where we can create our application, the connected app. Here I can say my SFDC extension. Okay, here you can, the API name will be there automatically. You can give a connected email and 
then yes this rest api is going to use oauth then hence i will select this enable OAuth settings and here you can give any callback url i will say http localhost okay and then here you need to select the auth scope you can take it for the time being the api one the web and then this refresh token that's it this is how i have generated this app manager click on a save button now just click on a continue it will take two to ten minutes for the changes to take effect just click on a continue so once you will click on a continue you will be able to see client id and then client secret just go down and here you see i have this consumer key which is a client id and i have the consumer secret key now i will take this consumer key the client id and then client secret and i will log in into the postman first in order to see if this client id and client secret is working so i'll just go to the postman first So here I just logged in into the Postman. And here you see the OAuth token API, the OAuth slash token, and here I have added the client ID and the client secret. So here this is the post API of this OAuth token in order to generate the token, where I have added the five parameters: the client secret, the client ID, the grant type as a password, the username, and then password. Once you will click on a send button, it will generate a token. So here you see the token has been generated. Now you, you use this access token in order to list all the APIs. Now just go to the another tab and here I have this opportunity API and I will select, I will just paste the beer, the access token over here as a bearer token and then click on the send button. So here you see all the opportunities which I have has been listed over here using this particular REST API. Same way I have another API as a patch API which will update the particular opportunities. So let's go into the VBC application and then consume all these REST APIs in order to extend the Salesforce application. So I just logged in into the Visual Builder application and click on a new application and here I'll say SFDC extension and then click on a finish button. Okay. Now here, first I will register a uh, REST APIs. Just click on a service connection and then service connection. I will use this defined by endpoint and I will take this endpoint from my postman. Okay, and then click on a next button. Here, I will select the authentication and I will just click on this and here I will use the resource owner OAuth. Here, I will use the username and then I will fill all this information. Here I have just put all these username and the password and the client ID and client secret. And then you have to put the token URL as well. Okay, so my token URL is this thing. And now just click on the request or you can just test it and now just click on the send button. Here you see all the opportunities has been listed over here and then just click on a copy to response body and now click on a create button. Okay, so here I will add another endpoint as this patch and I will select the patch. I will take the patch thing over here I will say this will be my op ID. Okay, now you can just test it. And here I will give a body as a request body, and the body will be name. I'll say my opportunities, copy to the request body, and here I'll just go to this url parameter and i need to give a sample or we can say the opportunity id which i will take it from here and then copy 
and now just send it okay body is there now just send it here you see 204 no content means the uh the this patch uh, patch endpoint has been added successfully so this gives no response Let's click add i will add another endpoint as a get one okay i will say get one i will say again op id and i will say this is a single get one i will test it i will pass a value over here and then send in order to see this is coming or not yes data is coming now you can click on a copy to response body and then add now here we have added three endpoints one is a get a get all and then patch now just go to the web application in order to create a new web application here i can see says application and then click on a create button okay now i'll just drop a table over here first and i will bind with my service connection by just clicking on the add data so here i will select this get all and then next so here i will say add id and then name and i will select the primary key will be my id now just next and then finish Now here you will see all the opportunities has been listed over here. Okay. Now we need to update our opportunities as well. So first I will make this output box as an updatable box. So I will just select input text and then put it over here. Okay. Now I need to make this table as an edit table also. So I can just select a table and from here just select edit mode and it will be added and then i will make this field as a editable so i will make it read only just try to switch your application into live mode and here you see you will be able to edit it but there is no functionality as of now okay now just go back to a designer and go to a variable first i am going to create a variable I will create a type from my endpoint, and endpoint will be my this thing. Click on next. Here I can say get opportunity ID, and I will take a name from here. Mm, name and then finish. Now I'll create a variable based on this particular type. Click on a variable and then i will take a variable name you can say get o variable and it will be based on my this get opportunity id and then click on a create button here you see the get o where i have only single value single variable now just go to the designer here i am going to update once i will update it and just press tab and then i will make a updation so just search, just uh, select this and click on an events. And here I will click create a new event as a value event. And first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign a variable over here. And in assign variable, I'm going to assign the name that will be a value. And then save okay now i will call my patch endpoint by clicking on this call rest endpoint and then select here i will select my patch endpoint and then select in this endpoint i need to give the opportunity id and then body so just select this assign and body will be my key opportunity i will will be my key the key will hold the opportunity id as a key now just save and then in the body the body will be like this now save that's it 
now here you can give a notification message via notification here you can say summary you can say upon finishing has been updated updated successfully you can make this as a transient and make a import okay now the configuration has been completed now just try to run this application by just clicking on this run let application to be run here you see this is the edit table you can update it and here i'll say updated and then just press a tab here you see the FTC will be fired and here i'll say the opportunity has been updated successfully so this is how you can extend your SAS application with the help of VBCS. I have listed the opportunities from the SFDC in near in a real time and updating the opportunities from the same page in a real time. So hi guys, you I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, comment, and share, and please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye bye.